That same month, in 1774, another incident occurs right on the Norwich Town Green. This, is re this right here is where Azariah Lathrop's Tavern used to be. This is not the tavern building anymore. Uh, that is now the Johnson home, with, uh, right around early 19, maybe late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Francis Green, very much like Jared Ingersoll, is a, uh, a, 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 a tax collector uh, for uh, um, acting on behalf of the crown. And after he got chased out of town in Wyndham, he tried his luck here in Norwich and barely got out of his carriage before an angry mob swarmed him and forced him to flee the area uh, without uh, any money in hand. And he was so outraged at this incident, he went back to Boston, took out a whole ad in the newspaper saying, I'm offering a $100 reward to anybody who can turn in these hooligans <laughs> that, that intimidated me, they insulted me, they made fun of me, they hurt my feelings, etc., etc." Nobody got turned in. <laughs> no, no, nobody, nobody tattled. There are still letters and correspondence that exist uh, between the committees uh, in Norwich and in Boston. And again, we learn a lot about these, uh, this type of intelligence that's sent uh, back and forth. So they say here, Sir, the Committee of Correspondence, this is in Norwich, have concluded to have the sheep which the inhabitants have offered to give the poor of Boston, collected together upon the 22nd day of this month at Captain Benjamin Burnham's in Newit. Anybody familiar with the Burnham Tavern in Lisbon? Currently under restoration, it's right on the main drag route. One sixty nine. I can't remember what the what the road is, um, and uh, it's, well, that's just that's just one example of a letter here. Another one a year later in seventeen seventy five says received from the town of Norwich by the hands of Mr. Carpenter twenty five pounds nineteen shillings law money as a donation for the relief and support of the industrious poor in the town of Boston suffering by means of the cruel port bill. That Mr. Carpenter is Gardner Carpenter of Norwich. He was paymaster, and, and this shop that he uh, owned with his brother Joseph still exists on the Norwich Town Green. And then another letter here, this displays some intelligence gathering. This moment we received a letter from New York letting us know that a packet that just moment arrived with dispatches for General Gage, it's best to keep a good lookout for it. <laughs> This campaign effort was so successful that Samuel Adams himself wrote to the Norwich Committee, and it was in this letter that he said this line, the part that which the town of Norwich takes in this struggle for American liberty is truly noble. Wow. That's how I got the title, A Truly Noble Resistance. And I read through pretty much every letter that Samuel Adams sent to every committee throughout the region. And that's the only time he ever used a phrase like that. Mm. So he, he, he recognized Norwich for its efforts using really unique language. I know that letter at least existed at one point, and I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to track it down. I believe I know where it is, but I haven't been able to get in there for the past three years because of the pandemic. But now I, I see my opportunity and I might be able to finally track this letter down. <laughs>